Hello Sagittarius, and this is your weekly love reading for the month of June. Um, so this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so if you're on the cusp of a Capricorn or a Scorpio, watch their videos, okay? These are very general, and if you would like your own personal reading, my links are down below in the description box, okay? Uh, Sagittarius singles, I got singles involved and committed at the end, I'll read the collective message. Okay, like putting all the cards together for a quick few messages. Um, so let's start with singles. I got the key and the writer for you guys, okay? Um, the key is about opening up, um, acceptance, a discovery, an aha moment, a yes, there's a yes answer here. Um, the writer is uh, movement, taking action, someone new coming into your life or someone rushing into your life, even if you, even if they're not new. Um, a lot, it's about changes. Uh, sometimes it's like a messenger, not really messages, but it can be about news and changes. Um, so yeah, Sagittarius, one of the messages here is being ready for anything to happen. Being ready, like if you're single, you're ready for, if you don't date, if you do date, it's like whatever happens, happens. That's exactly how I'm hearing this. Okay. It's like, you're being ready. You're, you're kind of open and ready to date anyone. This is like being very open. And this is like, come at me, come at me. Come on. Who wants me? That kind of thing. Very high confidence here, <laughs> but you know, I'm not surprised because you're a Sagittarius, right? Um, this, another message is saying yes to an offer. Uh, especially if it's a new person. Again, it doesn't have to be a new person, but with the writer card that is likely to be a new person, the child and the writer are both like the new energy or a, an energy that changes something with the writer, okay? But it's like saying yes to an offer or yes to a date. Um, for others of you, you like uh, allow someone to get close to you or they allow you to get close to them. There's like this opening, welcoming kind of feeling here but it's kind of rushed a little bit. Like it's very quick. It's, if you think about the key card, it, it think of what a key does, it opens a door. It's almost as if right when you open that door, like, okay, I'm ready. That's when everybody starts rushing in. Like, okay, what's your name? What's your name? It's, it's like the moment when you hit the relate. I said this in a recent video. I forgot whose it was, but this is just another example. I'm going to throw this in again. It's as if how you're changing your relationship status on Facebook to single and all of these people start rolling in contacting you because they see that. Okay. That's what it is. Or as soon as you make an, uh, as soon as you make a dating website, you get all these different people at once. It's like crazy. Okay. Even if it's not a lot of people, it's like someone comes at you very quickly here with the writer. It's like, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Who is it? Who, who, who's it going to be? Okay. <clears throat> Um, for others of you, one of the messages is someone pushing to come into your life, or I guess I should say being pressured to get to know someone. Although it may not really be that big of a, it's like, it may not even be a burden, but it's like someone wants to hurry up and, mm, well, I guess one of the negatives here would be someone just wants to get in your pants. <laughs> if I'm going to be blunt, um, that is probably one of the negatives I, I do get from the key. Um, but that's not going to resonate for all of you. Um, like I was saying, another message, a, a sudden new person that comes into your life unexpectedly. Okay. Uh, so I'm hearing right now, I've always been waiting for someone like you. I've always been waiting for someone like you. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. So for those of you that, that meet someone this week, or maybe it is someone you've already known, but whoever it is, it's like, I've always been, I feel like it's going to be more likely going to resonate for those of you that it's a new person. It's like, Where'd you come from? I've always wanted someone like you. Where the hell did you come from and what took you so long, right? Yeah, 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 that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm hearing. Um, another message is things are suddenly happening now in terms of love and romance, whatever it may be, whatever it may be. Okay, let's go to involved. So we have the lily and the clover. The lily is very sexual, but it can be like good intentions and morals and purity. Think of like, I'm gonna remain a virgin until I'm married, that kind of thing. Not judging people that are like that, just saying, that's a good example of the lily card. The other side of the lily card, there's like one side of the lily that's like sexual, artistic, crafty, entertainment, but also things that are kind of slow, that takes its time, uh, sensual pleasures. Um, <clears throat> but the other side of the lily is like, righteousness or goody tissues or but usually it's good intentions here the clovers uh, the clovers like quick short an opportunity it's it's a, it's a lucky card obviously but 
it has its downsides. It has its downsides. It has a downside to it. Mercury retrograde, I can't talk. There we go. There we go again. All right. Um, the lily can, I mean, the clover can sometimes mean something that's not long lasting. What's interesting is something that takes forever. And then we have a card that something happens so quickly. So I'm wondering if one of the messages I'm picking up is some, someone that you've been waiting on for so long, it happens quickly, or you've waited so long, but it ended so fast, right? When it finally happened, if that makes sense. Uh, another message with these two is this is a lot of simple pleasures this week with this person or getting lucky. <laughs> like, yeah, if you're hoping to get some, probably will happen this week, right? Um, or a chance at romance, a, a, an opportunity to be romantic with somebody, you know, whether it's in person or on the phone. Sometimes this pair is, is a lot like a sexual, like a, um, how do I put this? Like a sexual relationship without any responsibilities or no strings attached, which can be a good thing if you're okay with that. But for those of you that want something serious, that may not be um, your cup of tea, I should say, okay? see another message is like hot romance that is yeah like i said it's quick and short like as if so so kind of like the other message i was saying someone that took so long and it finally happens but it, it was too quick when it did i don't know maybe it's like a quickie <laughs> sorry <laughs> trying to keep this pg but but for some of you like i was like let, let me go back to that like it doesn't whatever's happening with this person it doesn't happen all week it like takes forever but then it finally happens at the end of the week like anywhere from now tomorrow or probably either just happened or tonight and tomorrow you're gonna see this start to happen okay all of a sudden um another message uh it could be a little bit of a problem here this is what i'm picking up on it, it well, what i'm seeing is like one of you doesn't believe this person is that serious but they do mean well okay so it's like someone here i don't know if it's you or your person but someone's like they don't really care but they do, their intentions are true. But but what you're assuming about them or maybe the the kind of the the signals that they've been giving to you, you're feeling like they don't want you or they don't they're not taking this seriously. Like as if you suspect they may not take you or the relationship seriously, but they do because the lily again is about having good intentions here and honesty. So that could be what it is. Um or uh someone okay i'm hearing this too someone's someone's not believing the other person is as pure as they say they are like let's go back to the virgin example like this is just an example <laughs> like let's say some of you out there are virgins nothing wrong with that no shame but let's say you tell your person that and they don't believe that like <laughs> whatever he <Yeah>, i right <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you're like, no, I really am. But they're like, mm. or maybe it's not that, but it's about drugs or something like, no, I've never tried this. And you would not believe how many people I have encountered that does not believe that I never tried anything but marijuana. I am not joking. I've never tried it. I'm telling you, this is me, by the way, I'm Sagittarius in my chart. Let me, I'm just going to throw this in because I used to work at a lot of nightclubs. I used to bartend and I worked at, I'll just say I worked at a lot of nightclubs off and on for 12 years dance clubs yeah so i was around all of that and i people would not believe me when i would say i'm i've never tried ecstasy i've never tried meth never tried uh i tried done marijuana that's all i've and cigarettes that were all that was my only thing was really cigarettes i even drink hardly at all i'd even drink till i was 25 and people do not want to believe that either they're like no way oh yeah i did not do anything and i still don't i'm not i don't judge people that do i just don't like to be not in control of my body I don't like to feel, I've never been drunk before either. And no one, I've been buzzed, but I've never been drunk and I've never had a hangover. And and I'm, nobody believe, I, I don't have hardly anyone that, some of my closest friends believe me. I'm just gonna throw that in because I, I get a kick out of that. People do not believe me. And I'm like, no, I have never been that drunk where I've thrown up or passed out, never. And it, because I don't like feeling that way. I do not like nausea. I, I I have like a weird phobia about it. I don't like to do anything that makes me feel out of control, dizzy or nauseous. Mm -mm. Nope. Anyway, uh, so I'm like a goody good two shoes, but no one would believe me. <laughs> but anyway, I'll just tell you guys my life story, but <laughs> I'm very clean. I do not like doing anything. I, I just don't like the way I feel. Anyway, 
Um, or I, I fear that what if I what if I die the first time and so I won't do anything, cocaine, nothing, none of that. No, no, no. Gotta stay clear in my mind. Anyway, um, sorry about that. <laughs> now you know a little bit more about me. Okay. Um, I have a good, clean record. I've never had a speeding ticket. Nobody believes that either. <laughs> yep. Anyway, okay, back to this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, what else do I get? Um, yeah, well, what I was saying is that someone may not believe you when you're like, no, I like like my little story that I was my, you know, my past when I was like, I've never tried anything besides weed and done cigarettes. You know, I smoked cigarettes for a long time. That was all I've ever done. And, and it's like this person may not believe that or you might not believe them. Like, what? Oh, come on. What? You know, um, so just expect that for some of you. And maybe that is going to be a big part of it this week or already happened because I went along with my story. So I'm just saying maybe that's more. Um, but I have Sagittarius moon and rising. So, yeah. <laughs> But I'm a Cancer, so it's a little bit of a struggle with the water and fire energy I got going on all the time. Um, sometimes, um, sometimes the lily and the clover can represent one of you not meaning to be serious with this person, but you end up doing that. You end up being serious with that person, or not letting yourself fall for this person's charm, but you kind of end up falling for it anyway. Not that they're bad, but it's like that, or perhaps it's more like, I'm not going to let myself chase this person, but you kind of end up doing it anyway. It has something to do with that. Let's go to committed. So if you are committed or married, I got the scythe and the anchor. So this is very 50-50. Um, this could be a sudden break in routine. So if those of you that are married or you're living together, or you know, even if you're not living together, you're committed, you're, there's just something different that you guys might have changed this week about doing some things together, the way you're doing things, um, like uh, just whatever, different schedule, whatever it is. It could just break in routine. Maybe you're taking the week off to not do anything. Um, just doing things differently, okay? Um, another message is... Um, one of the negatives here is... Okay, with the scythe. I didn't mention what they mean real quick. So the scythe can be cutting something off or sudden, like something suddenly happening or discontinuing something, like cutting somebody off even, or getting hurt. Oh, I will say that too. Be careful if you're committed. There, there could be someone gets hurt by a heavy object. Heavy, as in like think of weights, like heavy dumbbells or something made of metal. Think of what the anchor is. I'm just throwing that in because they're both cards of the metal element. These are not, this is not about feng shui, but if you look at the scythe, it's a knife, sort of like, you know, and if you look at the anchor, what is an anchor? It's mainly made of metal. Okay, it's very heavy, very heavy. So I picked that up right away is that someone, if you are committed, someone might get hurt by something metal, likely to be metal or something very heavy. So just be careful. Okay, I know the week's almost over. You're like, well, it's too late for that, but sorry about that. I know, shame on me. <laughs> but we still have a couple of days left, right? Wait, there's more. And then someone gets hit on the head with something. Wait, I told you so. See, see, I'm kidding. That's not really to joke about. And I, I don't think it's going to be serious. Just saying it could be minor. Just watch out. Watch your head. Okay. <laughs> it may not even be the head, but someone might have something fall on their toe, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, what I was going to say, though. Uh, sometimes the scythe with the anger can be uh, about stopping something long term or, for example, like breaking up within a long term relationship. And again, that's interesting because this section right here, these two cards is about long term relationships. Um, this is about if you're committed or married. So some of you might be breaking up with your person or divorce or something like that. Okay. It's just for the week. I don't know if it's going to change next week, but that's what, for some of you, that's what it could mean. Uh, but there's also this energy about breaking free from some kind of restraint. Okay. Again, this is like breaking free from a restraint. The anchor can be about, the anchor is like, besides something being heavy and metal, it could be stability and something long-term. But the negatives of the anchor is feeling restrained, feeling confined, feeling stuck. So this is like cutting that whatever stuck out. Okay, that's why I'm seeing this. So some of you are wanting to either uh, breaking free from or get out of a karmic relationship or something that was holding you back. So it may not be the relationship that you get out of, but it's something that was holding you back. It's now gone, like you're stopping it. And maybe that's what it is because uh, it's 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 hindering some, I don't know if it's the person you're with or something about the person that you want to stop that's whole, I don't know, however it resonates. Um, 
Let me see. Another message would be that this might be showing someone who wants something long term, but cuts the it's like they change their mind, like like they cut it out of their head, like like as if they're trying to avoid the idea. I don't know. I mean, it's for committed couples. So perhaps that might that might resonate for some of you that are trying to it's like you're almost in a step established relationship. Huh. But someone or it, I, I I wondered if it means like a sudden a, because the other cards are good. When I read the collective, I see this is more good. The scythe is the only negative card here, to be honest, with the collective messages. But I wonder if it's like a sudden, somebody suddenly wants to commit. Because that's one of the messages here too. Like, um, or, the, or it could be just a sudden discontinue of something within the relationship. I'm not sure what it is. Or like I said, a sudden commitment. Like, okay, now we're, we are official now. Let's get married. Let's move in. Let's do something. Sometimes, by the way, this can be residence, right? Usually the house or the store is like travel, relocation, but the anchor can also be residence, like taking up residence. So I don't know. So it, again, it's very 50-50 here. Let me go to the collective. All right. So by looking at all the cards, if none of these three resonated with you individually, um, one of the messages, some of you really want to go for this new person or this person, but in order for you to do that, you need to cut out another person or relationship or cut off whatever is holding you back so you can be with this person or they need to do that with you. Okay. And uh, let me see if I pick up anything else. So a, another message could be moving towards this connection with a mindset of whatever happens, happens, right? Like I was talking about in the singles. And surprisingly, this casual connection suddenly becomes permanent or that's the direction it's beginning to take this week anyway. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have for you Sagittarius. I hope that helped and thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video.